I am Christian Kabuai. I'm an artist entrepreneur, and I specialize in pre-Philippine writing systems. I'm currently based in the U.S. and Manila. And I'm going to be answering the most Google questions about visual art. Why is art important? Art is about uh, ultimately about humanity, and I think that's important. Why is art ageless and timeless? Good art is ageless and timeless. Bad art is forgettable. Why is abstract art so important? I don't know if it is important. It depends on the the person's perspective. I think it's important because it makes people think, draws people's emotions. Like if you see an art piece, it's just painted all black. People are gonna get angry about it. They're gonna say that's not art. Maybe in my view, getting them pissed off is the art. Why is visual art such a cultural imperative? Art is culture and culture is art. There is a fine line between the two. Specifically in the Philippines, we have a very diverse country with different languages, different ethno-linguistic groups that each have their own unique culture and artwork. Culture and art goes hand in hand. Why are artists important? Artists are important because it's about creativity. Earlier, like I said, it's about humanity. Think that everything that you look at was created by an artist in some way, whether it's a house, clothing, a pencil, a notebook, a music instrument, an artist somehow touched that product. How does art impact our lives? Art impacts our lives a lot, but most people are unaware of it. Most people just don't wear whatever clothes they want. They think that they are fashionable or they pick something that is aligned with their personal tastes. So in a sense, that's also art. They buy goods and services based on the art, whether it's the visual art of the advertisements or it could be the art of the sales. There's many different ways we can define art, but ultimately it touches everything that we live. How come art is subjective? Art is subjective because the human experience is subjective. Two different people may look at the same thing and have different opinions about it, and, and that's normal. Why should art be taught in school? Art should be taught in school not just to draw or to come up with something visually pleasing, more for the creativity and innovation. If you go to any corporation, they're going to say that they want employees who are creative. They want people that think out the box. Artists are the ones that will bring the emotion. Artists are the ones that will break the rules. They're the ones that are going to say something outrageous. Artists are the ones that are going to think of the big ideas that everyone's going to say are impossible. Artists are the dreamers. And so those are the folks that you want to be in your organization. Why should art be appreciated? I don't think it should. If you're talking about money, you know, a lot of people say it's appreciated because they want the artists to earn a living or the artists themselves want to earn a living. Should it be appreciated? I'm not convinced, you know, good art should be appreciated. A lot of people aren't mature enough to understand art. Good art is something that forces an emotion. Uh, if you look at a piece of art and you don't have any feeling, it's bad art. To be appreciated only if the individual actually has one of those emotions. Okay, last question. Why do artists appropriate art? Artists appropriate art because appropriation is natural. Today, it's, it's kind of a bad word, especially around cultural appropriation appropriation. Before the internet, before people even knew the word appropriation, it happens naturally. People are going to get influenced by things. Somebody said, if you can look it up, good artists like are inspired, but great artists steal. It's interesting because uh, you start out as an artist, you always copy whoever you're idolizing, then eventually you develop your own style. Uh, thank you for watching.